in the world of Delft Fayence, where many artisans remain nameless, one luminary stands out, Frederik van Vrijtom. Born circa 1632, this esteemed painter left an indelible mark on 17th century Delftware. Originally known as Frederik Barends, van Vrijtom's journey into Fayence painting began around 1653, evolving into a career that shaped the essence of Dutch earthenware. In a unique move, he adopted the name Van Vrijtom, replacing the patronymic Barends, perhaps to distinguish himself as an artist, for his art spoke louder than a common surname. Van Vrijtom was a rarity, a solo act in the realm of Delft pottery painters. Granted permission to work independently, he showcased his prowess by painting plaques, dishes and plates. His signature style, a monochrome blue palette, featured broad white borders that accentuated the depth and the light of his pastoral landscapes. Thousands of minuscule dots formed intricate scenes, a meticulous touch reflecting his dedication. Van Vrijtom's commitment extended to the preparation of raw materials. He used extraordinary fine clay, blending them into perfection. The double wit, double white method, with layers of tin enamel, produced the distinct white color of his objects. Now let's explore three captivating pieces by Frederik van Vrijtom. A painting, an oil on panel depicting strollers in a forest landscape, a plate adorned with a hunter and his dog on a riverbank, and an oval plaque featuring a seated fisherman by the waterside surrounded by the grace of sailing and rowing boats. These extraordinary creations come together, each telling a unique tale of Van Vrijtum's mastery, a testament to the enduring legacy of a name that refused to be lost in the annals of Delftic rich history. Frederik van Vrijtum, a masterful brush that painted not just objects, but stories bringing timeless beauty to the world of Delftware. In January 2024, Aronson of Amsterdam marks 30 years of presenting Dutch Delftware at New York City prestigious art scene. The Winter Show. Our journey beyond the Dutch borders began in 1990 in the heart of London, and by 1995, Aronson of Amsterdam proudly embraced its Dutch heritage at the then called Winter Antique Show in New York. In 2002, a resilient shift to the Hilton Hotel symbolized the art community's strength in the face of adversity post 9 11. Encounters with Oprah Winfrey and Martha Stewart underscored the global appeal of our Delftware collection. As the Winter Show marks its 70th anniversary, we celebrate our 30th year reflecting on a journey fueled by the enduring allure of Delftware. This milestone invites us to honor the past, savor the present and anticipate the ongoing journey as Aronson of Amsterdam continues to be a global ambassador for Delftware. Aronson of Amsterdam, a legacy since 1881, bridging cultures and rekindling Dutch heritage in the heart of the United States.